go left where there's nothing right or right where there's nothing left and why? Uh, I would rather go left where there's nothing right. Kasi kung pupunta ako sa right where there's nothing left, wala nang natitirang bagay na pwede kong ayusin. Samantalang kung pupunta ako sa left where there's nothing right, pwede kong puntahan yung walang tama and then gagawin kong tama. And that's it. Since sumasali ka sa mga pageant, here is your question na. What is the essence of a teenager? Oh, I think the essence of being a teenager is that we don't have to carry the world yet on our shoulders. We should just do what we love and never let anybody tell us that we cannot do great things. Thank you. To hear this, I think that, of course, there are Catholic beliefs. And I am from a Catholic family. But also, I found that even if you practice religious beliefs, we do not have the right to make other people feel unsafe. So I think for me that trans women should feel safe to join whatever they decide. Because women are multidimensional. So for me, go for it. If it's what you want, go for it. And being who you are. So I think to all of the viewers right now, we need to have more openness. Even, even if iba yung beliefs natin, we have to make everybody feel welcome because life is too short and we are existing in this earth for a single amount of time, very, very small amount of time. And we have to spend it embracing all kinds of people. Wow. All right. Uh, for, yeah, Jesus, is a, uh, Jesus, are you an ally of an LGBTQ? What? So are you an ally of an LGBTQ? Yes, of course. I am an ally of all kinds of people. I think we need to remove the stigma that um, we, we need not to single out LGBTQ. They're, they are still normal people. It's just that they happen to have different. We they happen to have different um, preferences for who they love, but we don't have to single. We have, don't have to focus on that because they are so many things other than just being LGBTQ. They are talented. They they have so much. They are themselves, and we need to focus on what they can do instead of. I think for me, just focusing on that they are LGBTQ because they are so much more than that for me. What is your message for the young women of Marawi? Okay, I think that if I were to ask this question, my message for the young women of Marawi is never lose hope. Because if they find inside themselves the hope, that will never go out. Because if if the hope is inside you, that will you will into anything and you can absolutely deal with anything. And I want to tell you that you can uh, absolutely go through anything. Kailangan mo nang maniwala and then just go. Now that you're 22 years old, knowledge or experience? Knowledge or experience? I think, Adam, it's a combination of both. Because, for example, we are so blessed that we have this all these knowledge and information at the tip of our fingers. It's like we can stand in the shoulders of the giants. Those who came before us, we can learn where they went wrong and what they could have done better and what, where they succeeded. And we can, we can pick up from there. But on the other hand, experience, we see it from face to face. And I think it's also very essential, especially for me, all those experiences that it's made me. It's, experience is very bitter, Adam, especially what I went through when I was very young. But I am so thankful for it because if it didn't happen, I'm not me, I'm not who I am. It's a part of me. So, experience then over knowledge. Well, I would say really both. But if you both. have to choose one, 
you have to embrace all experiences and always listen for those people who came before you. Nice. So, kung papipiliin ka book smart or street smart, you would also say the same thing. Yes, because, you know, I always think about this. Women are always like, they sometimes some women settle for a lesser option. But, you know, why not choose both? You can choose both, right? Girl, iba ka mag-isip. <laughs> Usually, kami sasagot kami ng isa lang. Pili ka na ng isa. Ikaw hindi. Kukonek mo sa dalawa. Diba? For example, love, life, and career. Fight to choose both. If the person is deserving, muna. Kisses, what's the most important lesson you learned in the past week? Mm -hmm. I think it's embracing the moment. Really enjoying the moment for what it is. Like a song. I think I met so many people the past week that re I really treasure. And I think that, of course, it's at my dream, the Miss Universe crown, but I also just embrace the moment, and that's one of the best parts. If beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, in whose eyes are you beautiful? In my own eyes. I always make sure that every day when I go out, when I'm doing my own makeup, that my standard of beauty is myself. We all have our preferences on what's beautiful, but I think that I am beautiful because I am me. And I think if I could show a girl that she can feel like that as well, that's something that I would be proud of for the rest of my life. Time. Oh, my time. <laughs> Your next question is, if we truly learn from our mistakes, would you advise a young person to keep making them? Absolutely. I think when I was 17 years old, I have made so many mistakes in my life. Just thinking about them right now makes me nervous. <laughs> but I think all those mistakes, like not trusting myself enough to love someone, all those mistakes will make me take more risks in the future and now, which is why I always take more risks now because I used not to. Um, you often speak about being a miracle baby. How was this part of your life affected the way you've approached a pageant like this? Well, it has affected me in a way that I'm always true to my core. I remember that every moment I am a miracle. God could have let me die, but he put me here and I have a mission to fulfill so I'm gonna forget all my doubts and focus on his vision. I will cling into that.